What's up, people? Today I'm answering the question, is saving money boring? My son asked me that, is saving money exciting? So it gave me a good video topic. And my answer to him was, yes, saving money is boring, but it's something that must be done. Just like exercising, going to the gym is not exciting. If you know anybody who works out, they don't like going to the gym. You got to wait on the machines. It burns. It hurts. But if you want the results, the results of a person that works out, you want to be in shape, you're going to have to sacrifice and go to the gym. The same thing with school. To get an associate's, bachelor's, a master, some of those classes are extremely boring. But to get to the end goal, to get that associate's, that bachelor's, or that master, and then you get that job that pays you that good money that you deserve, you have to go against uh, you have to go to those boring classes so to get to financial freedom as an average person you are going to have to go through the boredom of saving money meaning when you see everybody else buy these things that you would like to buy and you see things that's on sale you're gonna have to sacrifice in order to get to financial freedom is that fun no it's not fun I don't save money because I just want to see it grow in my account. I don't like to hoard the money, but I do have priorities, and my priorities are my family. I have to make sure if something happens to me tomorrow, they are well taken care of. If I lose my job tomorrow, we still have shelter, we still have food, we still have, they still have clothes on their backs. The main three that my mom always told me when I was small. As long as I had food, shelter, and uh, clothes on my back, I was good. It wasn't the best clothes. It was quality food, cooked food, not junk food. And as long as I had a reliable shelter, that's what my mom main concern. And I took that with life, and I did. I do the same. But I want to make sure that even if something happens to me, that my family will have that. And in order for me to get to where I want to be, or for my family, I have to sacrifice. It will be selfish of me to spend and buy what I want, go buy me a luxury car, put rims on it, go do this, go do what I want to do, and have zero money in my account, and something happens to me, and now my family is left struggling because of the decisions I decided not to make or did make. So yes, saving money is boring, but once you get to financial freedom, you can have all the fun that you want. Just like everybody else. You're going to enjoy your Christmas. You're going to enjoy your vacation. You're going to enjoy your nice car. Your, whatever you want. Your nice clothes. Your expense, whatever it is that you desire. Whatever it is that you want. But first you have to go through the boredom of saving money. The boredom of starting a business and taking time to sell something. And go through a lot of no's and hoops and a lot of stuff that that's not fun. But at the end of the day for your family, for yourself. You deserve it and it's something that must be done. If you want the results of financial freedom, you have to go through that. So that's what I told my son, it's very boring. But once you get to where you wanna to go to, and you get to that level, then it become fun. Cause now you, you're having fun like everybody else, but at the end of the day, unlike everybody else or most people, you really have it. You don't have to worry about being in debt. You don't have to worry about credit card bills and all of that stuff. You have your money sitting in your account, and now you can spend and have fun like the rest. So, until we get there, you know, we want to go from being in debt to being debt free, being a consumer to being an investor. You know, from bad credit to good credit, from spending to saving. That's what we're trying to do. So, that's what I told him. And yes, saving money is boring, but it's worth it. Going to the gym is. Not exciting, but it is worth it. I'm not talking for me now. I'm talking about for the people that go to the gym. <laughs> um, what else? Yeah, going to school. You got some of them teachers. Oh, man, they're so boring. You just want to fall asleep. But you got to do what you got to do to get that associate or pass that class or whatever, that skill that you want to do. And at the end of the day, it's well worth it. Financial freedom is well worth it. That associate, that bachelor, that master is well worth it. Going to the gym, looking a certain way is well worth it. So not everything in life is going to be exciting. You got to sacrifice in order to gain. That's how it is for the average person, for the real life situation. But um, yeah, that was it. I just want to come on there, come on here and say that. And, you know, teach your kids, pass it to your kids, talk to them about money. If you like what I'm saying, dislike what I'm saying, leave a comment, share the video. Um, and that's it. Oh, oh. And before I leave, I got my book, 
Financial Freedom Mindset, The Average Person's Guide to Financial Stability by Troy Adams. It's available on Amazon. It's for $9.99. Um, it's something that I've been working on and it's finally finished. Amazon approved it and it's for sale. And I sold a couple copies and it's going good so far. So if you like what I'm saying, it's for the average person with everyday circumstances. Not people that have a lot of money and when you read their book, you can't relate to them. They start a business and magically they start making millions of dollars a year. I'm talking about the average nine to five person with an average job who got the average bills and on the decisions that we make, we can get to financial stability. Nothing crazy, but once you get there, you can enjoy like the rest. But first we have to get there and that's the main thing. And we want to also pass that to our kids. We want to pass that to the next generation so they can have financial freedom and they can have a great head start in life that's much needed. So anyway, people, share, like, comment, dislike. If you don't agree with what I'm saying or I said something wrong, let me know. I'm not perfect. I'm here to learn too. Later.